bring again the captivity of Judah uh -huh. and Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, one day he's going to redeem us. What's, what's taking place right now? God is waking you up right now. Because you no longer believe you're an African American or black. You what? Judah. Judah. You what? Judah. Judah. Nobody can take that away from you no more. Record that. What that's going into? What, what's your nationality? Black. Black. Read the one on the top. Does it say Black African? Black. It's, it's a Judah. So God don't call you a color. He call you a nationality, which is a tribe from Judah. Judah. That's for, for all y'all. Look, look, look at it. What you see yourself at? What? What name is that? Asher. Asher. What's your father from? From Atlanta, so that will make you Judah. Now I got another question for you. When you apply for a job, during the application, they ask you ethnicity. What do you check? Black. Other. Black. What do you say? Other. Other. He say other. What you say? African American. What you put? African American or other? Now, African American is two Italian navigators' names. So do you come from two white Italian nav navigators? So how can you be an African and an American? That's two continents. That's, you got an Africa, a continent of Africa, and you got America. You're not a nationality. Okay. So, so what's my name? What'd you say? I said other. Uh, you said other. Uh, well, go look at this boy right here. God called you Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Now, that's power in their name now. This is what they never will, they will never teach you the truth. And that's why we come out here to teach our people during Don't these no wicked festivities. Give me the numbers. Numbers 15. I was 1 and 18, I want. You know what I want? 1 18. Listen good. I'm gonna show you because you are you are who your father is. Now you might ask me, how do I know I'm Israel? Listen to this, let me read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees out of the families. Uh -huh. Out of their families, uh -huh. by the house of their fathers. Now, they said, it, what a pedigree means since you hurry to go. I'm going to ask you the question. What is a pedigree? What does that mean? Pedigree. Nah, they ain't talking about wrestling. You got dogs, you got dogs, I got animals. If they say, go get the pedigree of this dog, what is it saying? Huh? The race. So read that part again. That's close enough as a father, meaning progenitor. Read that. They declare what? And they declare their pedigrees after their families. They declare their pedigrees after their families by who? By the house of their father. What does that mean? They declare their pedigrees by their fathers. What does that mean? They inherit their race from That's who you are. That's your DNA. That's your bloodline. So does that mean if you born in America, that make you an American? No. Why? Based on what? Based on your father. So your bloodline comes from your father. So that means if you have a child in Spain, does that make that child Spaniard? No. He says he's come from his father's bloodline. That's who our father's name was. His name was originally Jacob. God changed his name into Israel, which makes us what? Israelites. You see how easy that is? Right. We just took you down history. Real black history. Understand that. So it's power in that. That's why they'll never teach you the truth. Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is why we don't know this today, because right now you have to learn something powerful. Believe it or not, if you ask your friends or your cousin or your auntie or your sister, they'll say what? African American. Just like we did. Huh? Just like we did. Just like we did. Which I learned today. I know the truth now. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And, look, thou, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue. Shall do what? Discontinue. What does discontinue mean? Not continue. Huh? Not continue. Not continue. So, something's going to stop. So God said we shall discontinue from thy heritage. From what? From thy heritage. What that mean, brother? What that mean? God said you're going to discontinue from your heritage. What does that mean? Discontinue from your heritage. So that, does that mean you're going to know your heritage today? No. 
That's why you didn't know you Israel. That's why you called yourself black. You call yourself the color of your shirt. So this is what I'm showing you is it's something that we lost because of this. This is good. It's something that we lost because of this. What is this? Do they teach this in school today? That's why you gotta learn it on the streets today. That's why you got young men like you see these purple shirts out here to come where all people go to, the, pa the pagan customs y'all go to, to teach y'all truth. Because they ain't teach you this in school no more. We lost this because of this. Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee, uh -huh. and without cause thee to serve thy enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. So today we serve our enemies in what? Huh? He said the land that we know not. Because our answer is in the new America. Because how do we get in America? How do we get in America? How do you get in America? I just showed it to you on the sign. How do we get here? I showed it to you on the sign. You thought she was already here, so what this means? What is this? What is that? A tomb? That's a slave boat. And guess who's in it? Your forefathers, your ancestors. Right. This is the way you so-called black got here in America. And you lost that. Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. We discontinue from our heritage. This is how. Read. That I gave thee. God gave you a name Israel, but we lost that. Read. And when I call thee to serve thy enemy, we gonna do what? Serve thy enemy. Not a question I have for you, since y'all in a hurry. How do we serve our enemies today? Because God said, not only that you gonna lose your heritage, you are gonna serve your enemy by working. That's one. What else? What you got? What is that you got? By working, that you absolutely right. Because if you want technology, iPhone, you want an iPhone? Where you gotta go get it at? Apple, who owns Apple? White people, I like that term. Give me the number 2848. I'm gonna show you, that's prophecy, brothers. I'm gonna show you what y'all saying, which I already know, was biblically prophesied before y'all was even born. Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy. So you're gonna lose your heritage and do what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. You're gonna serve your enemies, which who gonna send against you? Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Now you might have to stop me. I'm gonna ask this brother, cause he look like he, he confused. Why did God send the enemies against us? Cause I see you distracted, you looking around, you getting distracted, so I'm asking you a question. Why did God send the enemies against these people on this board here, which is your ancestors, which is you? Why do you think God did that? No, this is my question. Read that first line again of verse 2048. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. That's one strike. We're going to serve our enemies. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a bad thing. I want to ask him. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So God said, I'm going to send your enemies against you so you can serve them. Now my question is, why did God send our enemies against us so that we may serve them? Why you think he did it? Ain't no wrong answer. This is why we learned in school. Why you think he did that? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you, right? Okay, you say you to test all human. Why? What do you think? You've been trying to figure that out, right? Okay, what do you think? Take what? Take power from what you think? To know what's right or what's wrong. Y'all gonna learn today. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments in his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It said a lot there. I don't know if y'all caught it. Before I explain it, I'm gonna go down the line. What do you say? Yeah, one of, yeah, okay, what do you think? Did you hear any, any uh, curses? Curses, that's a good word. Remember that word. What do you think? Deuteronomy 28, 15. Curses. So God said if we don't listen to him, he's going to do what? Curses is a good thing or bad thing? Bad. So now it's just like you guys. Y'all got adults. Y'all got mothers, fathers. If you didn't listen to your, when you was a six-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, when you didn't listen to your parents, what they did? Discipline them. They beat you. So God said we as children, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians as well, 
are the true biblical Jews. We are the Israelites of the Bible. And God said if we don't, give me that in Amos 3 and 1. God said if we don't listen to him, he going to curse us. We're going to come back to Deuteronomy, but listen to this, read this. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah. We shall do what? Bring again the captivity of Judah uh -huh. and Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, one day he's going to redeem us. What's, what's taking place right now? God is waking you up right now. Because you no longer believe you're an African American or black. You what? Judah. Judah. You what? Judah. Judah. Nobody can take that away from you no more. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Okay, that was a good one. Let's read, read that. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. You see that? It's possessive. He said, hear this word who God has spoken to who? Did he say the whole world? Who did he say? Children of Israel. Who's the children of Israel? We are. Exactly. Read it again from the top. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, meaning the whole 12 tribes. Read. You only have I known. Oh. Some emphasis on that. You what? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You know what God said? He said, out of all the people I created, he only knew who? The Israelites. The Israelites. Understand that, brother. It's some heavy stuff. That means it's something special about you that God said you don't know yet we lost through slavery and he's trying to bring you back to that read on therefore he said therefore I chose you he gonna do what I will punish you for all your iniquity what he just said right there I want to see you paying attention I want to keep teaching I want to ask questions God said because I know you and I chose you I will punish you what does that mean basically your father basically your father what you say my brother he punished you. That's why I said he's testing your faith in him because he's sending people to uh, take your power and rule over you to see how strong your faith is in God. That's he ain't testing our faith. We didn't get cursed because he's trying our faith. We got cursed because of what? Disobedience. Disobedience. That's a good, that's a powerful word. Disobedience. That's why he cursed us. It wasn't because of our faith. It's because we was disobedient. We rebelled against God. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 48 again. Listen good. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. In hunger. Now, when we, remember he said if you don't serve your enemies, how do we, remember my original question, how do we serve our enemies today? By working, you said working? Uh, playing the game. You said iPhones earlier. You said phones. Xbox. Xbox. Learning. Now I'm going to show you learning. And we want education. We got to go to who? We got to go to these white establishment universities. Now listen good. It's biblical. Read that. In hunger. In hunger, we got to serve our enemies. Listen good, brother. In hunger, we got to serve our enemies. When you want food, who you go to for food? McDonald's. You know what? This is heavy. Because the question is, who was Moses talking to when he said these words? Who he was talking to? Israelites. Which makes us what? Israelites. Israelites. We're just connecting the dots. That's right. The curses prove who the people of the book is. So my question, another question I got, the people in Jerusalem today, you know Jerusalem? Y'all know Jerusalem? Who's over there? Is it all people or somebody else? So what do they call themselves? Jerusalem. They call them what? Jerusalem. They call themselves the true Jews or Jewish. So if I just read some that the curse will happen to the children of Israel will be slaves and they will serve their enemies in all things and you just confess you are the Jews or the Israelites so why are the other people that not that don't fit that call themselves your nationality? So somebody's lying here, either we lie or they lie. How can we tell the truth? How can we find out the truth? Right there, right there. Exactly. Because God said what was going to happen to the Israelites, they will go into slavery. Did those people in Jerusalem right now go into slavery? Did they go through this? No, who went through this? We did. Which makes you the true Jews. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you the last book of the Bible where Christ said it. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works uh -huh. in tribulation and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. He said, I know the blasphemy, the lies of them which what? Which say they are Jews uh -huh. and are not, are but are the synagogue of Satan. Uh -huh. So God said, the people that's calling themselves Jews, because we ain't calling ourselves Jews, we call ourselves African Americans. They ain't us. 
You just learned that you're a Jew. But the ones that call themselves Jewish, God said they are blaspheming. They are not the Jews. Not only that they are not the Jews, but they're the devil the That's Bible right. speaks of. That's right. You know what a, you know what devil mean? Devil mean to deceive. Meaning somebody that's gonna lie to you and tell you that you're African American and they call themselves the Jewish. That's a lie. So let us get some solutions. Now that you know you're Israel, and I ask you, why, why did we lose it? Remember the popular quote, why did we lose our nationality? Disobedient, what do you say? Disobedient. What did we disobey, what, what did we disobey to? You said disobedience, you're right. But to what, what do we disobey? God's what? His word. His word, that's a good word. God's word. What else? Give me another word for that. If you take a red light, his commandments. His com what? Say it again, brother. Commandments. His commandments. That's right. That's exactly what happened. So that's disobedient. We disobeyed his commandments and laws. Now give me Habakkuk two and eighteen. I'm gonna show us something that I see on you right now. Part of breaking his commandments, which caused us to go into captivity. Now the Lord gonna see if you really gonna apply his words. Give me Habakkuk 2, verse 18. When I read it, I want you to point out the sin. Nobody else say nothing. I want you to point it out. Read that. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 18. Uh -huh. What profit is the graven image? He said, what profit is the graven image? Read. That the maker thereof have graven uh -huh. the molten image uh -huh. in a teacher of life. So the molten image is a teacher of life. What's a graven image? You no, know, what's a graven image? Something that somebody chisels. Huh? Something about yourself. Huh? Something about yourself. What do you think that is? Let me ask you, my brother. Graven image. What's a graven image? I don't know. Something that somebody engraving. Something. something that somebody engraving. What do the church today engrave? What what they put in the churches today? You're right. Something somebody engraving. Engraving what? A vision. Not, no. What? A vision. Not a vision. A Not word. If you chiseling something, you making something. What you making? Said some in stone. Some in stone. What kind of stone? Some, what the Catholic Church have in their churches today? You been in the Catholic Church before? Uh, I'm, I'm in Baptist. Okay, Baptist Church. Do you see any statues in the Baptist Church? Not in mine. A little bit. So that's a graven image. A graven image is a statue or a or the picture of the Virgin Mary, a statue of her, or a cross. So now look at your friends. See if you see a graven image on them now. Look at your homeboy. I don't look at you, I say look at your homeboy. Yeah, that's one right there, yep, you right. How about you? Look at him, look, look next to you. You see any graven image on him? No, nope, you don't see one, what about you? You see something on him? Okay, I'm actually, what's a graven image? There you go, point it, point it out for the man again. Point it out for him again. See his earrings and see his uh, emblem. That is a what? I didn't think it was great on him. I'm thinking something like that. Not on him, a great image, period. It could be on you, it could be like you look. Jesus peace, right. You see what I'm saying? I got, I got what you got. But if I didn't know better, so now when I know better, I do what? You do better. So do you go get more of those? Now that you learn you can't do that? With that cross around your neck and that earring around your ear, read it again what God say. What profit the, the graven image? God asked you a question. What profit that graven image? We, that the maker thereof have graven it. Because a man made that. He graven, he chiseled it and made it and put gold on it and sold it, right? That's what he did, read. The molten image, the molten image in what? In a teacher of lies. It teaches lies because it tells us to worship that above this. That's what Christianity and religious churches do today. They worship idols like Islam. They pray to a what? A rock. That's a molten image. It's a teacher of what? A teacher of lies. It teaches lies. So what must you do with that idol? But that's what idols is. Graven image or idols. What does the Ten Commandments say about idols? We should do what? Get that in Exodus. We should, we should worship them. So you put it on in the form of worship. So you should take it off. Read, read that in Exodus 20. Yes, sir. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. See what the law say? 
Now you know you Israel, you ain't African American, you a Judite, according to what God called you. Now you gotta carry yourself as such. You can't walk like a nigga no more. You can't walk like an African American no more. You can't walk like a black man no more. Because God called you a son of God, and the sons of God walk like kings on this earth. That means you gotta carry yourself a certain way now. You can't get graven images. We can't get tattoos. We can't sag our pants. Because that's what the heathens and the other nations want us to do. That's right. They want us to look like niggas, and they want us to operate like coons and confused idiots. But you are gold, and you are God on this earth, brother. And therefore, you gotta operate as such. That's why you gotta come back to your heritage. But before, you didn't know this, so it's not your fault. But now that you know, you gonna be held accountable to walk as such. Read it again. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, uh -huh. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, uh -huh. or that is in the earth beneath, Read. or that is in the water under the earth. Read. Thou shalt bow down. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, uh -huh. nor serve them. Uh -huh. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, uh -huh. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So you hear what God said? Don't serve idols nor worship them. And that's what they do in a Christian church. Because when you put that on, you teach other young brothers to do the same thing. So not only that you breaking the laws, but you're promoting it to others. And God gonna judge you for that thing. You know what I'm saying? So not because now you know better. So you should be taking that off. You can keep a chain, but that emblem got to go. It's See, my, he good. Now nah, you good, because there ain't no idol. It's just a, it's an emblem. See, there's certain things you can do, but those crosses, because give me through number 2864, I think it is. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, because that represents Christianity. And Christianity is a religion that God said we would serve because of our disobedience, which is idolatry. Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. How did he scatter us? This, this is how God scattered us from across the earth. Slave boats. He put us, he had the white man put you on cargo slave ships, your ancestors, stuff you in there like sardines. Remember, it was a long journey. So guess when the woman had to go, guess when you had to relieve yourself, where you had to go? You think the white man came down there, hey, good old black man, come upstairs and go to the water and piss. Where you think you had to piss at? Right on top of your brother. When a woman had to give birth, where did she give birth at? When she had to give feces, when she had to go to her menstrual site, where do you think she went? Because they were stuck on, stacked on top of each other. What do you think they had to go use the bathroom at? Right on top of each other. Right on top, because the white, the good old, it was only about four or five white men on the ship. And it was a thousand, eight, three hundred of us. The white man had time to go take one by one, here, go use the bathroom. No, you use the bathroom right on top of your ancestors. Read it again. And the Lord just got a deep among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Three. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor, thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood. Even wood, the wood represents the cross, and what else? Even wood and stone. That's the two, what is the two, what is, what is the two greatest religion, religion on earth? Christianity. Christianity and what else? Yeah. And Islam. 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 That's the cross. And the rock and the stone. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is.